Convinced Marcus to let me go out. I'd slept most of the day, and he'd stayed to watch over me. I needed to get out and get back in touch with reality. My physical condition was deteriorating rapidly. My mental state wasn't much better. I could feel myself slipping away. I knew that it wouldn't be long before I lost it. Hello, I'm Detective Carla Valenti, NYPD. The police, they found me. torn piece of computer paper. I think I must have used it for a bookmark. It's too late for me to think about running. Uh-oh, I'd better try to hide this. Hello, I'm Detective Carla Valenti, NYPD. You are Lucas Kane, right? I'd like to ask you a couple of questions. You've got questions you need to ask me? Well, it's worth a try. It won't take very long. What do you want to know? Could you confirm that this list came from here at the bank? This is our bank's paper, but that doesn't mean it was printed out here. Is there a way to establish where it was printed from? The manager already filled me in, but maybe we can learn something more. D difficult to say. Everybody who works at the bank has access to this paper, you know. Your manager told me that this kind of paper was only used by your stock buyers to print out their quotes. That's... that's correct. But there are at least a hundred buyers here, so how do we know which one it is? This guy seems kind of weird. Like he's hiding something from me. Is there a problem, Mr. Kane? Huh? Oh, no. No. Sorry. Is there a way to determine where this particular document was printed out? No, not really. Our printers don't leave any identifiable marks. A witness helped us make a composite photo of the suspect. Would you mind taking a look at it for us? This remind you of anyone? Hey, this looks like a lot of people I know. Could even be me. <laughs> You're right, these composites can be a little vague. Damn, it would have made my life a lot easier if he'd recognized somebody. Are you sure you're all right? I... I thought that... Excuse me.
Have you noticed anything unusual here at the bank lately? Well, I, I don't really know all that many people here. I pretty much do my job and keep to myself, you know? One of your colleagues told me you were acting a bit, well, strangely yesterday afternoon. Yeah, I, uh, I had a little problem. I didn't really think it was that big of a deal. That's strange. His forearms are bandaged. I wonder what happened to him. Did something happen to your arms? Oh, I had a stupid accident doing some home repair work. I guess I'm not much of a Mr. Fix-It guy. Is that you in the picture with the priest? Is he a friend of yours? That priest looks a lot like him. Maybe a member of his family. That's my brother, Marcus. He's lying to me. I can smell it. Damn, maybe this is our guy right here. Stranger things have happened. Uh, I'm not feeling very well. I'm just gonna go and splash some water on my face. Go right ahead. I'll wait for you here. He's acting so strangely. I'd better take a quick look inside his desk before he gets back. There ought to be some fingerprints on it. That'll make it easy to see if this is our man. Nothing much of interest here. Shakespeare, just like the one in the restaurant. That's worth checking out. I'll just remove it discreetly. Feeling better? Yes, thanks. I don't have any more questions. I'll let you get back to work. Thank you for your cooperation, sir. <laughs> 